What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to the very first episode of our Pokemon Coliseum walkthrough. Okay, so who'd ever thought that we'd be playing this game here in 2022? I sure didn't, and I'm finally, I'm, I'm excited for this right here because, you know, this game right here has eluded us for quite some time, mainly because we didn't really have the right equipment to actually play this game. And now that we do, now that we've invested in ourselves and all that stuff with a great uh, gaming computer, the Elgato uh, HDS uh, or the HD 60S Plus, and everything else in between, this has come to a rea reality. Now, a little bit of a backstory right here, guys. Initially, I was going to go straight for Pokemon Crystal, but I soon let let you let every single one of you guys know that you know what we've already done all these walkthroughs. I might as well come out with some brand new walkthroughs, ones that you haven't seen here on this channel ever. Um, even when I was driving XC711, you guys have never seen this game here before. I've been trying to figure out how to, never came to that, never came to that whole thing. But we're finally here, guys. I'm gonna do the best I can to actually upload this uh, this walkthrough uh, every chance I get. Uh, mind you, I've only played this game like half this game, so I. I'm not the most knowledgeable one, so bear with me right here. This is going to be a little bit of a fun experience because we haven't done this in quite some time. Play a brand new game blindly and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and play that new game. I know many of you guys have been waiting for this. And as you can see, we are going to name ourselves the main character right here. His name is Wes, but we're going to go with the new name because it's all about us right here. Yes, guys, it's me. It's me. It's GLD. But we're not going to be calling us DS. We're just going to be calling us, uh, ourselves Draven right here. So there we go. That's the wrong name. And let's press that start button and get this whole thing started. <laughs> that was a great cutoff screen right there guys and well here we are in the very beginning and look at this man like I'm, I'm 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 super excited like I said I'm excited and well uh I don't know if this is the car that we came up but we are in the ore region ore region and well as you can see people are coming out of this whole junk of a uh, hunk of junk right here and one of the guys is like wow we sure picked out eh I love chowing down after a job it has a flavor I swear <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a great big catch too. Boss will sure fix us up with a good big big rewards too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Hmm, I wonder who these guys are. A big old reward. Kind of want to know what this is all about. But holy bejeebus, I am a, I'm, again. I'm excited right here. Look at that. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, get inside right here and see what this is all about right now. And. As you can see, we are in like a bar of some sort, and here we have the news. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in the Eklo Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered only as a result of the explosion. By the time the police arrived, they, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should be apparent eventually. Hmm. I wonder what this is all about. Okay, so look at this. Like, holy crud. I, I, I First time playing GameCube and all that crud. And, man, 
This is pretty uh this is pretty legit right here. And uh well if you ask this guy right here, you're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Yes I am. <laughs> I can tell, and you're good. I can see that in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a little battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I have any chance of, ba of beating you. Now, here's the funny thing about this game right here, guys. You already start off with two Pokemon. Ombreon and Espeon and from what I've gathered right here with, uh, while playing this game is that we got Ombreon more of the defensive Pokemon while Espeon's the more uh, offensive based Pokemon right here now if you look at uh, the summary right here you got Ombreon the dark type Pokemon synchronizes its ability pretty good stats right here and like I said before it's special defense and uh, physical defense is pretty dang good now Let's go right ahead and take a look at its uh, attacks right here. Now, it has Dark, or it has Bite, Secret Power, Taunt, and Snatch, while the ribbons are nowhere to be found. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, at our Espeon right here. And as you can see, Espeon, the Psychic-type Pokemon, has Synchronized as well. And it's more of a, a special attacker, physical attacker, more special than anything. And, uh, well, has Confusion, Return, Helping Hand, and Reflect. So, yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a this is gonna be an interesting uh, kind of situation right here. Now let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. See what he's all about. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that that matters any. I don't know where you might might have come from, but relax. Stick around a while. Hmm. Now the backstory with this is that my main character right here was a uh, was a uh, a member of Team Snagum, and as you can see, yo. Wait, wait up! And this guy right here is like, Hey, my name is Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like I, uh, I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it and it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So, what's to say? Let's you and me have a quick battle? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. Alright, alright, over here, this way. Hmm, okay. So, here we are, we're gonna be ready for the first battle, and he's gonna be like, Yeah! I'm burning now, I'm on fire, it's full throttle time! Vroom vroom, let's go! So here it is guys, our very first Pokemon battle in Colosseum. And, well, one of the biggest things about this game is, it's double battle based. Meaning, every battle is double battle, so you're gonna have to find new, uh, new and inventive ways to actually win this whole thing. And as you can see, Ombreon and Espeon do have experience points already put in them. So, let's go right ahead and start, uh, well, let's start attacking people and stuff. Now, in this game, you're going to have to be very, very strategic, like Reflect, Helping Hand and all that stuff. And as you can see right here, Confusion just destroys Zigzagoon. So the special attack really, really does work. Uh, held items are, are a must. Uh, you definitely have to be... Uh, you definitely have to be a little bit more uh, picky with the Pokemon that you actually choose. I mean, many of these Pokemon are not the best, but sometimes they come out on top by just like you know showing you that like yeah they are they are very very good for uh, to you know for double battles and all that stuff. This actually does teach you a little bit more on how to double battle and whatnot. And well, as you can see, the confusion attack right here for the win, and Zigzagoon has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. Look at that. <laughs> He's no more. And just like that, our Pokemon are growing levels and... Well, that's our very first battle. He's like, <laughs> wiped out! I still need seasoning! Okay. Alright. So that is our very first battle right there. And, uh... But yeah, you're tough. Real tough. You did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Fennec City? It's uh, west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go there and get some battling in. Maybe I should. Okay, so, um, let's see. Before we do anything, let's go right in here. And uh, I don't think there's anything else that we can actually get. I mean, uh, it, there's a lot of, uh... Okay, so, of course, this guy right here will actually sell you some items and, uh... I'll... Some of the things that you can actually buy, not a lot, but Pokeballs are very, very important in this one right here because in this game, you are actually allowed to snag Pokemon uh, from other people. Uh, Pokeballs, like I said, very big item and all that stuff. So what we're going to do right now 
is we're gonna go into the next city right here. We're gonna go into the Fe or we're gonna go to Fenex City, a gorgeous jewel of a town that overflows water and forbidding desert. So there we go, guys. Man, we look like we are. <laughs> we look like we're in a Star Wars or something like there. So take a look at this. My God, this is fantastic right here. Okay. And there are those two guys right there, and he's like, "Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man!" Yeah, you say that, but this it don't it, it won't stop squirming. Okay, okay, settle it down in it, or settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. <laughs> help! Someone let us out! Kidnappers! That tape didn't help. Uh, that tape didn't help uh, keep her uh, yap shut. Hey, quit your shouting! Oh, drat! That did that punk hear uh, all of that? Uh oh. So I'm assuming that these guys are kidnapping somebody, right? Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. And here we go, guys. Another Pokemon battle. Wow. I think we're going to be doing two battles at once. And this guy right here has two Whismers. Holy crud. This is fantastic right here. So let's go right ahead and use Ombreon and Espeon right here. And... Oh, they're looking pretty dang cool. Very, very cool in the 3D and all that stuff. So let's go with the Bite Attack right here. And let's go with the Confusion for this guy right here now. Again, I've, I've only gotten half of this game done. And as far as I'm concerned, yeah, there's a lot. And I mean a lot of difficulty right here. So it's probably a good thing that, you know, we're doing maybe one or, one or two episodes a week. I mean, it's pretty dang good right here. So here we go. Bite Attack. And that takes a huge chunk out of Whismer's uh, HP right there. So here comes the uproar, and as many of you guys already know, uproar it does bring, uh, it does get powerful with every hit right here. And that actually hit us, and it's causing an uproar, making an uproar. So let's go ahead and go for another bite and confusion right here. And just like that, Whismer has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Okay. So that's two done, and Ombreon is growing grow to level 27 while Espeon grows a little bit more. So as you can see, yes, we defeated Shady Guy Foley, and he's like, God, you're tougher than you look. Mm, maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Okay, so... You took out my Whismer. You're no ordinary trainer, are you? Huh? Wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Snagums? Huh? Wait, what, 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 what's going on out here? Hey, somebody, robbers, they're robbers. You, you be quiet. We're no robbers, we're kidnappers. Get it, kidnappers. What, you think that? Don't you shoot, or don't shoot out your mouth. Don't get all happy just on the account of winning at this once. This next time we meet, I'll trash you and your Pokemon and all. Oh, wow, okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> So that right there is a little bit interesting, and well, here we have somebody saying, "Oh yuck! There's somebody, someone inside." God, this is this is tight, good and tight. You might believe those people. What a horrible thing to do. And well, as well, they're 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 definitely untying this person right here, taking a nice sweet time. Um, actually, I need a yes, please. We need your help. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Uh, the sack's fir uh, mouth is firmly uh, closed with a tightly knotted rope. Undo the knot. Yes, I can because I am that strong and well, it gradually loosened and there we go. And would you look at that. Hello, hello. I think Draven just found his next girlfriend right there. Whew! Thank goodness, I'm saved! She's wondering, where is this? Where did those two bring me? This is Fanex City, the or the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he battled those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you. And, uh, you are? Oh, so you're named Draven. I am, uh... And, well, I do not know what the name of this character is, so I'm just gonna go with Rui. I'm just gonna go with Rui, okay? Mainly because, well, yeah, again, played half this game... Want to be want to be a little bit more fun right here. My name's Rui. I'm sure glad I met you. I was a I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, those guys? Did they use a particular or peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh no no, that's fine then. 
Well, it's easy to see something's in your on your mind. You should go and see our mayor for our, his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square Pass here. Go up and uh, go up in the stairs from the square, the square, and it's uh, on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Draven. I know I know I'm imposing, but I don't have anyone else that I have to turn to. Please, can I get can I get you uh, to escort me for a while? Sure, why not? Thank you, Draven. <laughs> I thought you might have said that. If you're with me, Draven, I won't. It, it won't matter if those thug guys come back again. Thank you. Thanks for joining me for a while. And she, well, well, we became a well, we became partners. Look at that. Okay, so she's my partner, I guess. Partner in crime. Okay, so let's move. And well, look at that, guys. We are in. Uh, well. We are in this town right here, and that is a cast form right there. Holy crud. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this whole place right here, and then after that, we're just going to be uh, signing off. But as you can see, man, again, I am, am, am I'm very, very excited for this game right here. I mean, I really wish I could have done this earlier, but, you know, uh, <laughs> it takes it takes some time to actually get to know a lot of things right here, guys. And that is right that, that right there is my journey now. I do see quite a few things that we can actually collect, so let's go right ahead and do that. But unfortunately, before we do anything, hmm, I guess you're traveling trainer. Hmm, I like what I see your expression. I have a feeling I may see you again somewhere. Wow, that that guy kind of looked evil. I think he's evil, probably. I don't know, but let's go ahead and grab this, and that looks like an item box right there. So. There we go. We found ourselves uh, three super potions, and uh, let's see. We're gonna have to continue going, continue going elsewhere right here. Now I think that's the mayor's, the mayor's place right there. But like I said, I'm I'm trying to look for some places right here, trying to look for some uh, items, and that's a zigzagoon right there. There is nothing, and uh, <laughs> well, never mind. Let's go right ahead and uh, take a look at what we got right here. Let's go straight to where that individual came out of. He said he might see us sometime soon, and well, the door's open, and let's see what this is all about. So as you can see, there's the mayor. Pretty sure the cool hair and the big body says something. Ah, you must be travelers. Welcome to Fennec City. I am a, a SK, the mayor. Now, you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Um, uh... Oh, what may I do for you? A, pr a pretty young lady like you. I, I, I saw it. Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's quite right. What I saw, what I saw was a Pokemon that gave off bl a black aura. It was like fighting a machine. It was like a fighting machine, and the Pokemon would attack people. Oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine and attacks people. Now, if that were true, that would be a truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true. It's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made a prisoner of some frightening men until uh, just a little while ago. Hmm, I see. I understand. I will order an investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Oh, no, no, no. There is no need to th for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs as, uh, do as they wish, especially thugs that endanger a pretty, uh, pretty young lady like you. I'll ask you to give me a little time on this matter. I promise I will get to get some useful information for you. Oh yes, you appear to be a Pokemon trainer yourself. If so, I urge you to visit the city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's breathtaking, a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting our, uh, our oasis city. Okay, all right. So. That's pretty cool right there. So, anywho, guys, um, let's see. Let's go right ahead and find that Pokemon Center because, uh, believe it or not, you actually you actually have to go to a Pokemon sh uh, Center to actually save your game. So let's go right ahead and uh, check this out first. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. This is, this is actually very very beautiful. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go straight to a Pokemon Center and save the game and then from there you know just make a pause but yes guys we finally get Pokemon Coliseum right here onto my channel and as you can see we could heal up our Pokemon 
And uh, yes, let's go ahead and heal up the Pokemon right here. Two Pokemon starters, and that's that that wow. That's pretty awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this game right here. So best way to save a game right there and yes you're gonna have to save the game and bam saved okay so anywho guys we're gonna pause our game right here this has been a very very good first episode and i cannot wait to come out with the next one i do not know when it's gonna come out but be sure to look out for it as for any other pokemon games that i i i may have in store they're gonna be easy games Hopefully, you know, they'll come in with a good schedule, especially since we're going into the summer and you guys are going to be wanting some more material right here. So, again, thank you guys for being supportive. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the notifications button. And if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, the link's down in the description. I will see you guys for another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. See you guys.